What's up my loves? My name is Paige, this is Paige with Paige, and today we have chosen chaos. Hello my loves, so welcome to this video. Today is going to be a little bit of an experiment. I've been really stagnant with creative videos and just being able to think of anything outside the box. And I put a message in the Sufferathon group chat with my lovely receptionist a hot ass minute ago and they came back with some amazing ideas. And today is Erin's. <laughs> so Erin's idea, I think originally it's been a hot ass minute, I just wrote it as try a last chapter. You've got the try a chapter book for what you're interested in and giving them a go and seeing if you want to keep them. Today I'm going to be doing the last chapter instead. I have, I have regrets. You should be seeing this on Friday the 22nd. Today is Monday the 18th and on the weekend I posted in the Sufferathon Discord which is the readathon that Erin, Amy, Ren and myself are running for this month and we're having so much fun. But I basically said to them for an activity we're going to go visit the graveyard. And so we had two activities that they could do. The first was to let us know what's been hanging out in their TBR graveyard or the second was to grave rob and to rob a book off my TBR and let us know what that was. They had no idea that anyone that got mentioned is now part of this video. So I have 13 books that I'm going to be trying the last chapter of and just seeing what the fuck goes down. I am so fucking apprehensive about this video and I regret, I regret it wholeheartedly. I haven't even read the last chapters. The only thing that I have done is put in little tags in every single one of the books for the last chapter. I think there was one that didn't have chapters. I think that might have been Dowry of Blood. There isn't chapters that I could see. So I've just gone with where there was like a significant amount of white page to then be able to start the next one. Some of these are literally less than a page as the last chapter and this isn't the epilogue. These are like the last chapter of the narrative. Some of them are a page. Some of them are 20, 25, 30 pages. So I'm going to break this video into segments. So I've got two lots of four and one lot of five and going to work through those books in those chunks. So it's going to be different times and different periods that I read these books and then come back and talk about them. Haven't decided if this is going to lead to an unhaul of some of these books. Some of them might now jump up to my TBR. I might completely spoil the entire plot for me and some of these I want to read next month or at least by the end of the year. So I'm fucked. This is great. I hope you enjoy my pain. And we're gonna start with this stack as my first. So I've got my little bear tabs. I'm going to quickly figure out the length of the chapter before reading it and let you know. And then for some of these, who knows what's going to happen. I sure as fuck don't know. So we have in this little stack, Trader's Blade by Sebastian de Castell, which is the first in the Grey Coat series. Looking Glass by Christina Henry, which is a collection of short stories. Black Water Sister by Zen Cho, which is a five star prediction and I believe gifted to me by Kara? I'll have to double check, but I think it was gifted to me by someone. And A Diary of Blood by S.T. Gibson, which is on my TV out the next month. So, yay! I don't know how this is gonna go, if it's gonna be entertaining for you or painful for me, but I hope you enjoy and it's something a little bit different. So, yeah, let's dive into the first book. Like I said, first up is Trader's Blade and this is 17 pages for the last chapter. So. I do have to admit, this is actually a first great line of the last chapter. At first the reverberation of her voice was the only sound, but then thunder roared from below us and a cloud of dust rose from the slope.
Oh, okay, so that's done. That was actually really cool. I really enjoyed not knowing that what the fuck was happening. There was a lot that went on. Someone lost their fucking marbles in it. Someone got poisoned. There, there was a lot that happened in this last chapter. I am super excited to read this now. I, I love Sebastian de Castell's writing, so... Hmm. Mm. Oh dear. I did want to try and get caught up on the way of the Argosi before starting the Grey Code series, but that might not be the case. So the next one I'm going to do is Diary of Blood, because for this one, it's literally this page. We're just going to do that one because it's going to be nice and short. Oh, that really tugged on my heartstrings. That was beautifully written. Like, that was so lovely. Excellently written. And, wow, I have so many questions, but it's definitely intrigued me. Probably not as much as Grey Coats, and I also know that I'm getting to this pretty soon, so I'm happy to just feel the feelings for that. Ouch! Oh, the poor little poppage. Okay, that was an interesting palette cleanser. So next up I have Black Water Sister and this is 15 pages. So I just finished this and that was really nice. It hasn't gripped me in the same way as Grey Coats and Dowry of Blood, but I'm definitely really interested in getting to this. The writing has definitely intrigued me. So I'm very curious to see how the fuck we got to there. And I think that's always a good sign. I think there's a lot that I'm going to be able to learn and unpack in this. So I think that's going to really get the right vibes for me. And I'm really keen to just Chowin. But if I had to pick between these three to start immediately, this one would be on the lower end of the scale at the moment. But I am still hoping to get to this by the end of the year. It's funny because like Dowry of Blood and Blackwater Sister, I intend on getting to by the end of the year and Grey Coots is not, but it's now the one that I want. <laughs> so jolly good. And then we have one final book, which is Looking Glass by Christina Henry for this round. I am going to move around and go do other things and then come back and read another chunk of them. So it's not too painful for me to read through and sort of move locations and just get a little bit more comfortable because this is not. But this is probably one of the bigger chunks is 57 pages. So there's 90 pages worth of reading in this four stack. Basically, the last chapter for this is an entire short story because there are no chapters in it. There are the little chapter indicators, but it's not actually, it's more, it's the paragraph breaks, it's not a chapter break. Although you can, in short stories, use those as dividers, but I just decided, fuck it. Let's just read the last story of Looking Glass. I am very curious to see how I vibe with this. I would definitely prefer to be listening to the audiobook. Obviously, this one is going to be slightly different because it is a full short story. I don't know if these are interconnected and it will have been better to read these to understand this or if it is each of these are independent. They're just novellas, so each of them are a new adventure with Alice and Hatcher. I don't know. We're about to find out. Oh. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> okay. Um. This is actually really cute. So this was just the perfect summary for like my own feelings of how I'm going to be as a parent. She said this with the gentle affection of a mother who loved her children but didn't always like them. Alice supposed that was the way of it really, that you could love your child more than anything in the world and still wish for five minutes of quiet if you could get it. My camera battery died, uh, let's continue on.
Okay, I love that last one. That was brilliant and yeah. I really want to go through and read the other ones. So it is just four novellas, so I can, I think I can read them independently. I'm not sure, obviously, but I will have to let you know in a wrap up sometime. This, I have included it in the main series of the Alice series, but really it's a companion. You don't have to count it as part of the main series, but I think if you would like to have some closure with Alice's story, I think this would be a good one to pick up. So I'm happy that I've read that last story so I can just, no. And yeah, I love Christina Henry's writing, obviously, so very intrigued. I think in terms out of all four of these, they're all so different in their own ways. I'm, I'm not sure where to put Looking Glass because I feel like overall, I definitely am the most intrigued by Trader's Blade. I can feel that Blackwater Sister I'm excited to get to, but it hasn't reinvigorated my desire to pick it up. So this is probably still the lowest one for me. And between these three, I have every intention of getting to this one. I still have every intention of getting to Blackwater Sister as well by the end of the year. So it's like that and Dowry of Blood, I'm happy to just continue on with because I know that they are going to be prioritized sooner rather than later. I'd like to get to Looking Glass by the end of the year so then I can mark that series as completed. In all technicality, I could go back and mark it as completed because these aren't doing anything more with the plot but I feel like based off that last one it is definitely if you'd like to go in and see the ending of their story that this would be a good one to pick up but this one had me the most entertained so just curious so I don't know which one out of these I would lean more towards because I'd like to read this more because it's doing more things whereas this is starting a series but in terms of the actual last line also, this was a full short story, whereas this was only a page, so, you know, it's apples to oranges. I think I'm going to go with that as my order for this stack. So, top of the pile was Trader's Blade, then Looking Glass, Dowry of Blood, and Blackwater Sister. These two are, like, I'm chill because I know I'm still going to get to them. I'm probably going to prioritise Looking Glass a little bit more, but also knowing that there's no audiobook, but it was still a really quick read, considering I read near on 50 pages already and then Traders Blade up. I really, really want to get to. So that's my first stack. So next up is this beautifully thick stack and I'm going to cry. But I will let you know how that's going to shape up when I go to pick those up, what they are and how much I have to read. So I'll see you in a moment. Hello my darlings. So welcome to the second part. It's another night and I have this chunky stack. I am so so very apprehensive about this because there are so many pages in this stack and I'm just, I'm nervous. I'm still gonna try because I think it's funny. A lot of people will be like, oh, you know, I'll give it the first chapter or the equivalency. And I'm like, I'm giving it the first chapter, however long that is. But I'm going for the last chapter, obviously. So for my first book, I've got Vengeful and this is eight pages. It is from the Exodus. So it still has up the top as vengeful but it's like restarted the chapters so i'm just going from exodus and the third chapter this is literally the shortest chapter in this entire stack so here we go fascinating okay I'm so excited to read this now like this is also on my TBR for the remainder of the year because it was put on my advent TBR by Kaz and so I need to know I need I need information for what the fuck I just read like oh dang next up I have Dracula by Bram Stoker and uh, <laughs> I'm not excited about this in the slightest. So that's fine. This one is 17 pages for the chapter. Time to dive on in. Oh, 
this was probably the most confusing one. For the other ones, whilst I might not have known who the characters were, their actions all made sense. This did not because I really, this is dependent on the rest of the story. It's funny that, you know, you can read some things and it'd be totally fine to just pick up and you're like, cool, I'm invested. That is a whole other kettle of fish. Out of the two, it was the weakest, and I'm assuming that it will probably stay for that stack, but that's totally what I expected, because it is a classic. It is not one that I was overly interested in reading anyway, and it's just something that I didn't think was going to capture me, and older language is one that I struggle with anyway. The way that the wording was actually phrased was really quite difficult at some points, and I'm definitely going to go now get a Panadol. Dracula was definitely the lowest out of the lot and the lowest out of both sets so far. This one is 53 pages for the last chapter and there are 40 chapters in this. I, I'm not sure how these sizings go but honestly I can tell you that that of 50 pages is a fucking deterrent for me wanting to pick this book up. I'm gonna have to get myself comfortable. There's gonna be interruptions. Hello, so it is now significantly later and I have read the last chapter of Ordinary Monsters and that was a very interesting experience because I was bored for 40 out of the 50 pages. I think I would enjoy this book if I had read through the whole thing so I actually knew what was happening. It just, it didn't really flow. I felt that the climax was very anticlimactic as well. I know that it is the first in a series so that we are going on to the th next thing but I don't know it just it really had the same tone for me as Dracula of I just I didn't care. I was interested in reading Ordinary Monsters the size had deterred me from reading it for a hot ass minute. Yeah I'm curious to see how I vibe with it when I do actually end up reading it. And because of the size, it was going to sit on the back burner anyway. But yeah, that last chapter is sort of confirmed that I am happy to not get to it anytime soon. Ordinary Monsters, the poor thing, has had many things working to its disadvantage for me picking it up. <laughs> One, it's giant. Two, it's the first in a series and I'm trying not to start too many new series. And Three, there was just something about it that I'm not sure how this is going to go. The things working in its favour though was that it's set in Victorian and it's fantasy. It would just... And the writing style was easy to read. It wasn't taxing to read, unlike Dracula. And there were positives to it. It just, it really... It was a slog to get through. The shame, mostly probably because I had no context to what was going on and I was saying to Ash that there were a lot more characters and a lot more elements to sort of try and grapple with in the last chapter, whereas for most other books it hasn't been that many characters to deal with. Max two or three. I think that and having such a large cast of characters and not knowing anyone from a bar of soap made it that much more late. It's interesting what stories don't actually need to have backstory to make sense in the last chapter. But that one definitely needs to have the full backstory to get the most out of it. But like, you've got Diary of Blood that I cried on the last page because it was just so beautifully written. So it's just interesting doing this little experiment. But I think one that is definitely going to have concerning facial expressions in the least will be Earthlings by Sayaka Murata. And this one is 60 pages for the last chapter and I want to cry. So this is one that Ash has read and really liked but it's one that he's not sure how I'm gonna get along with it and also it's massively fucked up. Is that is that accurate? It's uncomfortable. Okay 
Going into the last chapter, I don't know this writing style. I don't know these characters. I don't know where we've got up to. I'm curious. So I will record hopefully most of my reaction while reading this and we'll see. Off we go. Off we go. <laughs> Camera battery died, but continuing on. Are you not comfortable yet? No, not in the slightest. Is it intriguing? Yes. I had many a question. Yeah. But none that I want answers to. <laughs> like it's fine. <laughs> I'm <laughs> I'm okay, but it's just like it's so fucking disturbing. Uh, that's that's Wait, what? What the fuck? I'm so confused. I'm s what the fuck? The thing is, this wouldn't make more sense if I had more context. There was enough context in the whole chapter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I've, I've got questions about how all of this came to be, but for what? Currently of what the fuck there is nothing previously that would have answered this because this is in the moment Why his eyelid What the f For the first time in this reading experiment, I think I'm fine. 
I don't think I need to read the rest of the story. <laughs> what? What the fuck just happened? Yep. What just happened? Yep. I am. I am. Before I go sit with what the fuck that was, I am going to do the ratings for the four. It's no surprises. Ventral's my top. I want to know how they've ended up at that point and who that chick was and her story. Then Earthlings would be the next one I'd want to read. But at the same time, I'm also happy to never read the remainder of this story. <laughs> because what? That's, that's how this ends? Okay, sure. That was still a really engaging, captivating, and very easy to read last chapter. Even though it was the longest out of, I think, this entire experiment that I've got, it was the easiest. And it didn't feel like I was reading for too long. It flowed very nicely until the end where I was trying not to be unwell myself. <laughs> These two. They're on even playing field of I don't want to pick either of them up. I think I'd prefer to pick up Ordinary Monsters over Dracula just because of the language. I feel like I could get through this easier than this, even though, hmm. But yeah, so Dracula's going to be on the bottom. Ordinary Monsters, Earthlings, Vengeful. And that's my stack for tonight. I am going to go wash my brain. I'll see you tomorrow. Hello my loves. So I have a beautiful stack of books to read for tonight. This is actually the shortest amount of pages that I have for this challenge, which is great even though there are five books. Collectively this is I think 47 pages. I'm going to start with the hardcover because the last chapter is this. It is a singular page. I like these ones. Let's see how we go. Oh, and I will show you there is a beautiful illustration before. Oh, oh, that was actually a really nice page. Okay, I really liked that. I think it's always going to be hard to compare singular pages to chunky chapters, but that was actually really lovely. I, I want to know more. I'm intrigued. That's so cute. I'm going to save this for last because I don't know how I'm going to go with this and I'm scared. So I could try jumping to the chunkiest one, which is Gleanings, which is an entire short story snippet thing and I believe it's 20 yes 20 pages for this one I think this is the longest so I might dive into this one and see it is interestingly laid out so I think this is actually going to be a very interesting one to end on let's see consciousness such a curious intangible thing one moment nothing and then the next everything the big bang played out on a personal scale by the toll please pick this up I am going to I'm, I need to read more of these short stories oh oh I'm so happy okay <laughs> so obviously there was a lot more backstory that I know to that even though it was a short story but a high high rating I think the Wisteria Society of Lady Scoundrels will be next. I believe this is eight pages or so, but it is actually quite small text, which also obviously can make a difference. That's an interesting start, considering I have no idea what's happening. Oh my god! 
It definitely tells a lot of some adventures that happen in this. I like it. This is very interesting. It's got me very engaged. I've wanted to pick this up for a long time and I'd like to see how they get to here. That is super sweet. Oh, oh. More than we can tell is the next one and this is Bridget Camera. This is a companion, I think, to Letters of the Lost, which was one of my favorite reads of 2017, 2018. I adored it so much. This is following the friends of our protagonist and it switches perspective. The last chapter we're in a particular individual's rather than another one's and I'm curious to see how it shapes up. This is also eight, nine pages. This has been a really sweet set, much more palatable than last nine. <laughs> Oh, yes, okay. I love their dynamic. That is so wholesome. I am definitely, oh, hearing this character talk in the last chapter, there's moments from the first one that I was so curious about and I already got some answers, but it hasn't spoiled anything because you sort of know. I'm so keen to actually go back and get to rediscover their story and see the dynamic of these two characters just grow and blossom. So I'm super happy with that. I think so far, Nature of Witches is still on the bottom only because it is so short. Then it would be this Wisteria and then Gleanings. So I'm gonna go change my battery and so there will be an angle change and then we'll dive into the last book. Ah! And I think this is 10 pages. I'm so nervous. I have no idea how this is gonna go. I'm so scared. Ah, it might not spoil anything for me. The rest of these have been pretty chill and for romances, I sort of expect where we're gonna end up. So that's not a surprise. Earthlings shook me to my fucking core. I don't, I don't know. So, but here we go. cry in the last goddamn chapter. I don't know who these people are. It's fine. I don't need feelings. I, uh, oh, well, yeah, that's great. Honestly, I'm not surprised. I want to get to gleanings because I want that wrapped up, but, oh, oh, they just hit to my soul. Oofed. Buckman's writing really just hits all the right notes for me. Okay, I think I might move into the study and we'll talk about the top three. So, wow, I had a really eclectic stack of books and overall, reading the last chapter of each of them, I really enjoyed. Out of our first day, Trader's Blade was my favorite. For the second day, it was Vengeful and for the last day, it was Ove. Out of my top from each stack, it is really hard to, it's hard to narrow down at any of these because I don't know who these characters is. Series always have a upper hand because I'm invested with the characters that I know and recognize some names. So it makes sense that Vengeful's higher up. But then Trader's Blade had me absolutely captivated. And also these two are favorite authors already. Christina Henry and Schusterman and Bridget Kemmerer I had read before and loved and the rest of them I would never picked them up before so it was hard it was so interesting doing this little experiment I think out of these whilst I'm not going to get to Trader's Blade anytime soon that last chapter was probably the most impactful just in terms of curiosity for the rest of the world Earthlings was the most fucked up ending like we'll just go with that 100% that 
I can't even process what the fuck I read in that regard. <laughs> but in terms of engagement and wanting to deep dive into these characters and find out more about them, definitely Traitor's Blade, then Ove because it just hits an emotional punch, and then Vengeful. I really am super keen to get back to these characters, and I've been putting off for so long, so this was sort of the kick up the ass that I needed to get to this. So. This is the stack of the last chapters and the order in which I would rank them overall. Gleanings has me so reinvested and looking glass. I'm so keen to finish it off. Earthlings is a bit of a hard one because I'm definitely curious but also I'm scared. And I think this whole experiment has been so interesting for me to dive into and just see. I definitely don't recommend reading the last chapters of books unless you really want to. There are definitely plot points that I'm now like, hmm, especially for Ove. Like, if I'm crying and I've never met this character before, I haven't seen their development in self, that is a fucking accomplishment. Although I do cry over anything and everything. So take that with a grain of salt. But I feel like if you can make me cry, like Dara of blood like a man called Ove. That is impressive to do on the last page when I have no other context to this. Absolutely none. I like the chapters that are last pages. I think that is very interesting to dive to. Whilst some of them weren't highly rated, it was actually the longer ones that were my lowest with Dracula and Ordinary Monsters. Earthlings is the exception to this rule, but the short stories were higher up because they were a complete narrative. So I think this has been such an interesting experiment and I'm so happy that I did it. I have suffered. It's hurt me to do this, but I would be really curious to try this again sometime. So I've got to prioritize these sooner rather than later, although Trader's Blade might be early 2024. Oh my god, that's next. Okay, but I'm just super excited and it's really made me curious to pick up a lot more of these, which I'm really happy for. So, let me know in the comments, have you ever intentionally read the last chapter of a book just cuz? And let me know if you would like to see another round of this or if you'd like to, me to try a first chapter edition and see if I can make it a little bit more of a challenge. If you'd like to leave some ideas on what you'd like to see how that would look like, let me know down below. Anything you want to let me know down below, feel free. And if you like this video, feel free to give it a big thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of this mess, feel free to subscribe. I'll hopefully see you in my next video. Bye!